to see some sweat going down those pretty pink faces. You think the rubies are going to give you time to get comfortable? Maybe take a wee sonic bath? On those feet! On those feet! No, why not? We are under attack! Oh my god, it's the aliens! Wait, no septic tanks! This is god time! God time! God time! Foul stations! No! 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 Sorry, don't get it. Figures. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, hello. <sighs> this again. Hello there, I notice you appear to be pointing guns at us. What do we do? Don't we light them up? No, 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 that really won't be necessary. Yeah, we are not worth shooting. Trust me. Sergeant Baxter. Sir! Give our guests the traditional welcome. I'll see them in my office. The, um, traditional welcome? I wonder what that is. Did you just not hear a direct order from your commanding officer? Cuff them both! No! Yeah, that's about what I expected. for you to see, sir. Bold of you to assume they're spies, Baxter. Sir? Don't worry about it. Just bring them in. Sir! You heard the general! Get them in here! No! Baxter. Indoor voice. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Hey, get your hands off me! Pop it, you filthy alien! You know, there's really no need to be quite so demanding. It's no way to make friends. Shut up! Men, leave us. Sure sure that's why, sir? Did I stutter? No, sir! Come on, you filthy moderats! Let's give the general some privacy! Quick march! Quick march! Quick march! Someone really needs to explain indoor voices to that guy. (laughs) That's been one of the greatest challenges of my life. So, what brings you to my base, doctor? Uh, I see my reputation precedes me. You know who he is? How? Mm, The blue box, the clothes, the company you're keeping. It's not hard to work out. I'm guessing you're new. New? You see, Nora, they have this very odd fixation about keeping files on me. Makes them feel in control. Quite pathological, if you ask me. So, it's my turn to make a few observations, if you will indulge me. Go ahead. Always been curious to see what you can do. This is a highly classified military base, above majestic clearance, if I'm not mistaken, which means that the research you're conducting here is so classified that even a hint of what you're doing here could provoke an intergalactic response you really wouldn't like. So officially, this place doesn't exist and its location is a closely guarded secret, but based on the soil composition, air humidity, and quite frankly, the smell, I'd say we're on Europa. Somewhere in the Conobara chaos? Not bad. You're right, of course. If the galactic community got wind of what we're doing here, well... It wouldn't be pretty. We're on Europa? Yes, it's one of Jupiter's moons. I know. You do? Oh, it's disappointing. I like doing the explainy bit. I mean, you can still do it if you want, I I guess. No, no, the moment's gone. Anyway, that's besides the point. Just what are you doing here, General? (sighs) I suppose hiding it from you would be a waste of time. Naturally. I mean, if you wanted, we could do the whole run around investigating, get captured, escape, get captured, escape, get captured, escape thing. But I really think that it'd be a waste of everybody's time. And your staff seem overworked as it is, so let's just skip the run around, shall we? Yeah, that gets old fast. Trust me. We had a situation exactly like that last week, actually. And the week before that. And the week before that. They do happen a lot, don't they? Oh, there I go digressing again. Point is that it gets old fast. You travel as often as I do, you start seeing certain patterns in things. So let's skip all that and get right to the good part. What do you want, General? I'm sure you're very much aware 
the galaxy isn't the safest place. Every velvet glove hides an iron fist. Half the stars in the sky want to blow out the other half. There are things out there that can kill us with a single thought, and they're watching. We've got Santarans and Rutans tearing each other to pieces on our doorstep. It's only a matter of time before it spills over and humanity gets wiped out in the crossfire. Preventing that from happening is the purpose of this mission. In the simplest terms possible, Doctor, we are attempting to create the ultimate human weapon. A super soldier. You're trying to build Captain America? Ah, I see you've had the benefit of a classical education. That is exactly what we're trying to do, Miss, uh... I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name before. Nora. Nora Watson. I'm General Hayden Sterling III. Welcome to the base. You really called your clandestine military operation on the far side of Europa the base? The base? It's a bit bland, isn't it? This is a secret facility. Is building a super soldier really such a good idea, Hayden? I wouldn't expect a civilian to understand. I mean, have you ever even seen a Rutan before? Yes, I have. And what happened? It died. Huh. It seems I may have misjudged you, Miss Watson. Yeah, seems you have. What happens if it decides it doesn't like taking orders? You know that happens all the time in, um... Classical literature, right? I'm sure our chief scientist has a very long and very complicated answer for that. Yes, I'd very much like to meet them. I'm sure that can be arranged. In the meantime, I think you should meet our volunteer, Nora. I think you'll put your concerns at rest. I think that's an excellent idea, don't you, Nora? I guess. You guess correctly. I'll make my own way to the research lab if that's all right. I think my eardrums could use a break. Tinnitus. It's a real problem at my age, you know? Understandable. Before you leave, you'll need this clearance card. Oh! Well, thank you very much. You have no idea how much time this is going to save me. And one for you. Thanks. Um, Doctor, can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. Uh, Sterling, would you mind just giving us a second? Go right ahead. Why the hell did you disagree to... I'm sorry, but he wasn't coming to give us a choice. What do I do, then? Just try to gather as much information as you can. I'll come for you as soon as possible. I won't let anything happen to you, Nora. Piggy swear? Piggy swear. Are you two done? Right, yes. Um, I believe the research lab is this way. I'll have Sergeant Baxter escort you to our volunteer, Miss Watson. That sounds great. Just great. That'll never work, you know. I'm sorry? You'll never get the coolant to stabilize with that much charge. He's up a bit. But the charge is necessary for the device to function with even a modicum of stability. Well then, um, what you need is a heat sink. A heat sink? Yes! That would work perfectly. I don't know who you are or why you have entered the sanctity of my laboratory, but you are a genius. Tell me... What do you need such a powerful coolant for? I'm afraid that's classified. The General is insistent on that. Yes, well, the General told me you were working on a super soldier project. I assumed you'd be developing some sort of drug or serum, hence my curiosity as to the need for coolant. A super soldier? Is that what he told you? It doesn't matter. Like I said, it's classified. Even I don't fully understand the workings. But you're the chief scientist here, correct? That's right. Ursula Smith. A pleasure to meet you, Ursula Smith. I'm the doctor, and I have to say, if I were you, I'd be a little frustrated about that. Yes, it can be. Especially with the stakes so high. Did you hear what the Daleks did to Ascension? And we could be at war with the dragons any day now. To be honest... I'm not sure the General knows what he's dealing with here. And what is he dealing with? Like I said, it's classified. Come on. Come on. Just one more. Call! Wait down and shape up! Sir! Yes, sir! I have a very special assignment for you, Call! 
You see this pretty young thing? Gross. Sir, yes, sir. The general wants you to take care of her. Fill her in on what we've been trying to achieve here. Sir, yes, sir. I'll leave you two to get acquainted. I'm sure there's some green back I could give some tender encouragement somewhere. So, uh, you're the volunteer? That's right, miss, uh... Nora. Nora, nice name. Thank you. And you're Cole? Private Calvin Cole, at your service. You know, you can drop the formal stuff if you want. Baxter isn't around. No, I uh, guess uh, he isn't. You always have to win your guard around him. So you're what? A scientist? Analyst? I once went by Safi Dax, but that was a long time ago. I, I just go by Nora now. Okay, just Nora. The Sarge told me to fill you in. But honestly, I don't know much about the process myself. What have you been told? That they're going to take away all my physical and mental limitations. Make me more than human. The perfect weapon. Do you really think that's necessary? Oh, you're one of them peace party types, figures. I'm just saying. Well, stop saying. The whole human race is living with a sword hanging over its head. They could attack any day, and we have to be prepared. Look, how about I take you on a tour of the base? I'm sure you can learn everything you need to that way. We'll see. Come on! It's classified. Come on! I can help! It's classified! And besides, I highly doubt you're qualified to do anything to help. Look, I hate to brag. Well, I love to brag. But that's besides the point, which is that I am the most qualified person in this system to help you with this problem. Oh? And why is that? Because I'm not from this system. Not from this system? What nonsense is that? I'm from a world far away and far more advanced than this one. I am older than you could possibly imagine. I know secrets of the universe that would burn your mind. I... I believe you. I'm sure you do. After all, I'm not the first alien you've met, am I? How, how could you possibly know that? Like I said, qualified. Now, why don't you introduce me? Very well. Come with me. Attention. Inaction is conspiracy. Failure to cooperate will result in permanent off-world relocation. <laughs> what do you think of the finest the mess hall has to offer? It's different. I know. It's terrible. Oh, God, you have to eat this every day? Yeah, nothing like formulated nutrient paste. On Wednesdays, it's pink. Hey, I was wondering. Think you could uh, get me a one-on-one -on -one with Sterling? I don't think that'd be possible. And besides, why? I want to tell him what a good job you've been doing. You know, you can get a medal or something. And how are you going to do that? Come on, Cole. You think they'd give a security pass like this to some nobody? Are you saying you do work for the government? That is classified. Ooh, sorry. It's okay. You still think you can get me a one-on-one? -on -one? Yes, Miss Watson, I can do that. Hey, it's still Nora. Okay, Miss Watson. Attention, please. Inaction is conspiracy. Failure to cooperate will result in permanent off-world relocation. Here we are. The alien quarters. You built quarters 200 feet into the ground. On their request. They sound quite particular. They value their privacy. That starship. I recognize the technology. No. It can't be! Behold, Doctor. Our silent partner. We need to get out of here now, Ursula. What are you talking about? These aliens. These silent partners of yours there. Stop! Identify yourself, Cybermen!
It's classified. 